This is the reason right there that I make people take their shoes off in my house. Gross factor 10, because I don't want that in my living room. Megan Murphy is always on the move. She's Good Housekeeping Magazine's executive editor and an expert on cleanliness in the home. Most days she takes the New York City subway and pounds the pavement heading to work and home. Nobody looks down. She showed Lisa Guerrero what she finds on the streets is sometimes kind of disgusting. No! No! Okay, this is vile. We got to wondering, what kind of disgusting matter does super clean Megan traipse into her house without even realizing it? Same deal with her three active kids. Team Murphy, bring it in. So we took all their shoes and sent them off to the lab. I'll be shocked if you don't find a little something. A little something something. We did the same with Carolina Santos Reed, a professional dancer. When she's not working, she likes taking her two cute dogs for walks at the local dog park. And do you ever wonder what's on your shoes after you've been to the dog park? Oh my gosh, all the time. One, One in each bag. Okay. We also approached random people on the street, like this guy. I'm Lisa Guerrero with Inside Edition. Do you mind if I swab your shoe? After we explained, he agreed. What do you think's on your shoe? Well, all kinds of things. After a week, the results came in from the lab. Time to reveal the dirty details. Okay, here we go. So, they were loaded with bacteria. Okay. Yours were bad, but your kids' shoes were worse. In fact, they had nine different kinds of fungi, seven different kinds of bacteria, including one that can cause a serious infection. Wow, they'd only been wearing those for a week. You're kidding. So for them to be that contaminated is extra gross. Why should you care? Because all those germs on the bottom of your shoes can wind up in your home. We applied a fluorescent marker to that professional dancer's shoes. Then she walked around her apartment. Then we turned off the lights and shined an ultraviolet light on the floor. It's kind of scary to look at it and see it up front like this. It looks like a crime scene. Yep. It's a crime scene of crime germs. Crime scene of germs. <laughs> <laughs> so what did we find on her shoes? Well, we found four types of fungi oh and my God. four types of bacteria on your shoes, wow. including one that can cause an infection as serious as meningitis. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's terrible. And that stranger on the street nice enough to let us swab his shoe? We found four different types of bacteria, including E. coli. Oh God, that's that's not good. No, that's not you good know what at all. that is, right? That's not good at all. So it's one poop. more reason to take your shoes off all the time when you're yes. in your pot. Good Housekeeping's executive editor agrees. Take off your shoes as soon as you get in the house. Disinfectant wipe? Clean them with some antibacterial wipes. Sneakers can also be tossed in the washing machine. Do we need to be completely freaked out and paranoid? Not so much, but if you have small children, anyone who's immunocompromised in your home, why take a chance? 